So what's going on YouTube, my name is Mehul and welcome to your 6th React Native tutorial in which we're gonna take a look at what props are in React Native and basically why the heck would you need that and all that stuff because you're gonna make use of props all the time in your React Native application so it's just easy to you know just understand it later earlier and then um, you would be able to relate a lot of stuff later on so if you take a look inside our code right here which is from the last tutorial you can see that we are actually making use of props right here so what props are basically is that um, they they give extra information to your components as I said this text component or this view component right here um, would uh, have very specific functions associated with it right now we are making use of the inbuilt components later on we can create our own custom components as well but for now let's just say I want to display text with some certain style right so what I'm gonna do is make use of the style property which is associated with this component right prop stands for property obviously if you are not able to relate it till now so um, let's just say um, I, I would give you another example let's just say you want to display an image in your application so what you're gonna do is right here image and if I hit tab does it import it for me no not really so you need to import import the image component here as well so once you do that what happens now is that now you have an image right here you go okay sounds good but what the heck does this image can do well you need to give it additional information like the source of the image you want to load right so the source of this image would be um, and I'm, I'm just I'm just gonna explain what this syntax here is would be um, let's just say URI would be something like uh, my awesome site.com slash my awesome image dot png something like that so now you're telling this component right here to have this property which gives it some information right and what the heck the syntax is is basically this comes from the JSX so um, if you want to have a variable kind of a variable thing inside your um, attribute value in JSX what you have to do is just include that inside the curly braces if you do something like this this would be static value right right now since we are making use of an object so I'm inserting an object here which contains all this stuff so I need to make use of this this curly braces here you can also do something like this like constant image info and then do it like this and then pass in your image info here it's one and the same thing right because I'm just writing this object right here directly you can do it separately as well so again this style styles dot welcome I can basically just get this stuff here just put it right here and there we go it's one and the same thing right so you do not need to really um, you know just wander around what this curly brace mean it's just that you have a variable placeholder right here for the value or basically dynamic something dynamic is coming inside JSX right so that's basically it for the prop section and basically if you are creating your own components then you would be able to define what kind of props you want to receive and what happens with your component and all that stuff later on would come to us when we when we would discuss our own com custom components but for now you would have to query the documentation to see what components you have for what props you have for a given component right so if you see um, we could actually can we get the list of components from here um, I'm not sure so okay it does not let me go more backwards in the code so I guess not so yeah you could just refer the documentation otherwise um, you can just follow along and just see what kind of props I'm making use of and you should be good to go at least for this web series so yeah, that's all for this video and I'll see you then in the next one.